Hi everyone, Donut here. Today we're going to talk about a shooting where the suspect went down pretty quick and the officers about caught many rounds right to their faces, but they didn't. The dog's barking outside again. Shut the f*** up! It only starts barking when I start making videos. I f***ing hate it. San Diego, a place that's a lot cooler than dirty hobo needle poo poo land. California. Did you guys know that I quit Navy SEAL school the day that the Elder Scrolls Skyrim came out on 11 11 11? I was like, I don't want to be a SEAL anymore. I just want to go home and play Elder Scrolls Skyrim. This is cold and I don't feel good. You know what sounds cooler? Elder Scrolls Skyrim. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm a huge nerd, guys. But you know what? If Skyrim wouldn't have happened, then I wouldn't be doing police breakdowns. I might be writing a book like every other Navy SEAL. Guys, I had a crazy f***ing day. I can't tell you about it right now, but attorneys and crazy people were involved. One day I'm gonna let you know. It's pretty rad. First off, this video is sponsored by Helix. It's getting pretty late. You wanna go Yeah, I like to Aw oh, yeah, we could totally up our game with Helix. We're gonna so hard on this mattress. Yeah, you take that Why do you keep bleeping out sleep? Well, it's kind of fun. Look, try it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna so hard. I can't wait to Oh yeah, give me that sleep. <laughs> what if you wanted a brand new, very comfortable mattress, but you didn't know quite what you needed? What if there was a place online where you could go do a quiz and figure out right away what kind of mattress you need and order it? Helix! Oh no. 34. I don't need to mess this up. We'll go with 110. How does D-Nut sleep? Soft, medium, firm. I wake up with back pain? Oh, dude, come on. I was like in the Navy and a cop. <laughs> There's my Matrix, the Helix Dawn Lux. Helix Sleep is premium mattresses customized to fit your needs, conveniently shipped to your front door. I think I got my first Helix about a year ago, and I love it. They bring it to your front door, you pull it into the bedroom, take it out of the box, and it inflates itself. They offer a 100-night sleep trial to see if you like it. They have a 10-year warranty, and they also offer financing and flexible payment plans. Head on over to helixsleep.com slash donut operator to get $200 off your mattress and two free, very comfortable pillows. Anyways, San Diego. Which of course in German means a whale's vagina. 10-18-2022, police received calls of a man with a gun in a church parking lot. Our pain no longer has visual. Five to six minutes ago, there was a black male was in the parking lot to the church waving a gun around. Then they received calls of a man waving a gun around a Chinese restaurant. That's a guy. He's a black guy. He come inside my restaurant. He walk around. I don't know. He's kind of turned crazy. And I saw he dropped, he dropped kind of a gun earlier. He, he dropped a gun? gun? Yeah, and he took it up really quick. He tried to hide it. And then, I don't know. He's kind of okay. crazy. Not cool. <laughs> this part kind of cracks me up on the official San Diego uh, police YouTube channel. They put business name redacted right there in the corner for the name where the suspect was waving around a gun, but they put they put an exact like dot right here where the business is. Like how could we ever figure out where the business, oh, there's a Chinese place right there called the Great Wall Express. Exactly where you, <laughs> where you put the dot, but I'm sorry. Business name redacted. We don't want people to know about the top secret Chinese restaurant. We're asking, he's waving a gun around. Spoilers, it's this place right here. Ew, that looks like shit. There's a fucking spaghetti and rice with some marinara on it. What the fuck is this? I'm sorry, that was very mean of me. I don't, you could have great food. I know the nail joint right behind it don't got great nails. I was looking at that earlier. If we go to PJ's haircuts, I don't know about them nails right there. I definitely wouldn't get my hair did there. Anyways, shootings. Again, sorry to release all that top secret information, San Diego Police Department, you sneaky sluts. So the guy takes his gun and goes into the top secret taco place that's next door. I just left that taco shop on 47th Street in National, and there was this gentleman in there. He was acting very crazy, and he had a gun on the table. Reports of a man with a gun at a taco shop next across the street. Where could this place be? I don't know. Maybe <laughs> the taco shop right there. Oh no, I'm releasing secret information again. So now we got three calls from three different citizens who probably pay taxes and aren't pieces of shit saying there's an irresponsible gun owner waving a gun around. He could be crazy, could be on drugs or both. What do we know? Either way, that's a hairy call to respond to. Like every hairy call on this channel. What are my cats doing? Jesus, guys, can you believe these guys? Jeez. 
Lord have mercy on my soul when it comes to you. Have you guys met Cheese on the main channel? I know you you met met them on the second channel. You guys want to meet Cheese real quick? Oh, this is Cheese, aka Big Fat Gray Whore. She's happy all the time. Look how happy she is. I want to die. You don't want to go to the top secret Chinese restaurant, do you? The shooting that we're about to watch, if you couldn't believe it, goes from zero to 100 in about two seconds, because that's what we do here. I show you the dangers of law enforcement, then we discuss it in a calm, rational manner in the comments below. Chow, 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 chow. He's got a gun! He's got a gun! Fucking... Shots fired, shots fired. Stand up. The officers matrix the shit out of this one on complete accident. Bullets are literally flying all around them. You can see the officer's window shatter from one of the suspect's bullets. I'm pretty sure the suspect hits the officer's mirror right when he pulls up. The two officers return fire and dude goes down hard. They definitely pushed an off button on that one. I think there's been a recently released scientific study on this exact moment. Here's a clip. See, as you can see, the more you fuck around, the more you're going to find out. Because the suspect is still tightly grasping the gun in his hand, they don't really want to move up on him because he could be playing possum like a little sneaky slut. There's a lot of controversy online about handcuffing someone who's clearly been schwacked by the police. They got a couple bullet holes in them, but you know, adrenaline and people getting shot and not knowing if they're dead or not is a hell of a thing. That's why cops handcuff people, despite having a lot of holes in them. Why take chances on some head that's trying to murder you? Turns out he was shooting at cops with a Glock 44. If you don't know anything about Glocks, the nomenclature behind naming them is f***ed up as a football bat. He was shooting at them with a Glock 44, right? Guess what that shoots? Tell you in a minute. As far as the chocolate cheese that is naming Glocks, the Glock 22 shoots 40 caliber bullets. The Glock 20 shoots 10 millimeter bullets. The Glock 45 shoots nine millimeter bullets. And the Glock 38 shoots 45 caliber bullets. The suspect, like I said, was shooting at cops with a Glock 44. That shoots 22 caliber bullets, the most worthless round ever. I don't want to say worthless, but there are bigger rounds out there that could hurt someone. It's not all complete gibberish though. Each one is named after the patents that the Mr. Glock filed to do his, make his guns and stuff. Something like that. Just watch Brandon's <coughs> channel if you want to learn about guns. Which brings me to my next point. The, what the f are you? Oh, you were fucking with my berserks again, aren't you? Do you see? You were being an ass. Do you know how much those things cost? Speaking of, before I was so rudely interrupted by Cheese destroying my $200 Berserk Limited Edition Volume 3, I, I see, I, oh, you little, you little sh I, I see you, I see you. 22 rounds will still f you up. Make sure to watch the video that I just made with Brandon Herrera, where we take out the American 180, one of my dream guns. We finally got our hands on one. Are you shooting an AM 180? Yeah, we are. You want to come? If you don't remember, I geeked out about this gun a couple of years ago on one of my other videos about classic police training. I'll link that video in the comments below. What the fuck is that? You had a top loading Thompson? What is that? <laughs> is it 22? In Brandon's video that we made on it, I actually talk about when two Florida police officers, two Florida men, smoked a Florida man with one of those. That'll be in the description and comments below. Everyone, that's all I have to talk about in this video right here. I got kind of drawn out with some things there, but I think that's why you guys appreciate my channel every once in a while. Make sure to check out my Patreon, where I am doing Donut After Dark, aka Dad. No, not the one that went to get a pack of smokes and is going to see you when you're all grown up. Patreon.com slash Donut Operator. If you want to help support the channel, do that or go to DonutOperator.com. Get some super sweet merch. Until next time, I love you guys. Have a fantastic day.